In this lesson, you'll learn about the plagiarism policy for the Create Task and AP Computer Science principles and when you need to cite code or resources. To learn how to cite code or resources, check out resource number one in the video description. The plagiarism policy states the use of program code, media, video, images, sound, data, information, or evidence created by someone else or with generative AI tools in the creation of a program and or a program code segment without appropriate acknowledgement through citation, through attribution, and or by reference is considered plagiarism. There are three categories of content we are going to focus on. Program code, media such as video, images, and sound, and data. For each of these categories, we will discuss when is the content considered your work? Should you use content that isn't your own work? If you use content that isn't your own work, how can you remain within the rules? Additionally, we will discuss which portions of the create task you may work on with your collaborative partner and which parts you must complete by yourself. We'll start with program code. Component A will contain your entire program code. Most or all of your programs should be original work. Original work is code written and debugged entirely by you and your collaborative partner during the administration of the create task. This can include work done by you and your collaborative partner in class or outside of class, as long as you don't receive outside assistance or feedback. Here are some situations where program code wouldn't be considered your original work. Code where you received feedback, such as a grade, or assistance from your teacher or someone else other than your collaborative partner. Code that was written by another person or an AI like ChatGPT. Code that you found online or in a sample project. If you want to use code that is not considered your original work, you may do so in component A as long as you properly cite it. You can learn more how to properly cite code in resource number one. Later on in your project, you will choose several selections of code from component A and put it in component C. The selections you choose for component C must be your original work. Students may wonder under what circumstances the use of AI, such as ChatGPT, will cause code not to be considered your original work. The College Board policy states students are permitted to utilize generative AI tools as supplementary resources for understanding coding principles, assisting in code development, and debugging. This responsible use aligns with current guidelines for peer collaboration on developing code. Here are some examples of prompts that would likely fit within the spirit of the College Board's guidance on AI use. I am receiving a syntax error on the following code. Please identify, but don't correct the error. In JavaScript, how do I access the third index in an array named myArray? Here are some examples of prompts that would likely not fit within the spirit of the College Board's guidance on AI use. Write a function in Python that will take two lists as parameters and return a third list containing the common elements. Write a procedure or program that will meet the criteria I am providing. My procedure is not doing what I want it to do. Please rewrite it to make it work correctly. Be aware that ChatGPT will sometimes take initiative and do more work than you have asked. You are still responsible for following the plagiarism policy, even if an AI misinterprets what you are asking for. Also, AIs may produce incorrect, quirky, or easily recognizable code. A College Board grader who is scoring many projects may recognize patterns that indicate AI-generated code. Next, we'll discuss media such as video, graphics, or sounds. Third-party media files can be freely used as long as they are properly sourced. Finally, we'll talk about data, such as data tables you might import from code.org or data you may get from a third party. Like with media files, you are fine as long as you cite them properly. You can learn how to properly cite media and data in resource number one. Before we end, let's review the three components of the create task and which parts you can work on collaboratively. Component A, full program code. You may work with only your collaborative partner on this. Any third-party resources must be cited as previously discussed. Component B, video. The video portion you must create independently. However, the video will be based on the program that you may have made with a collaborative partner. Component C, personalized project reference. This portion must be completed independently. However, it will be based on selections of code from component A, which you may have created with your collaborative partner. 
Make sure not to copy over comments from component A. Check out the next video and the full playlist to learn more about the create task. See you soon.